presented by Church Tech U, it's the ProPresenter Show. On today's show, the three ProPresenter licenses. Hi, and welcome again to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, if you'd like to learn more about ProPresenter and related stuff, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you can be the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. Did you know that there are three possible licenses that you can get? Well, maybe not you personally, and maybe not three that your organization can get, but three exist. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's head over to RenewedVision.com, link below the video, and look at the licenses. First, determine what type of organization you are. If you're a house of worship, you can use the single license or the campus license. If you're not, you'll need a seat license. Let's concentrate on the practical differences between those first. A seat license can only be used on one computer at a time. So if you want to use another computer, you'll need to unregister the first before registering the second. In addition, you'll need a, an internet connection to do it. What happens is the ProPresenter calls home to the Renewed Vision registration servers and says, unregister this machine, and when you put it in to another machine, it calls and says register the second machine instead. If you always have plenty of time to do it and an internet connection, it's no big deal. But sometimes it won't work and you'll need to talk to Renewed Vision directly, so make sure you leave extra time. That's the downside of this license. The upside is it's cross-platform. So you can go back and forth between Windows and Mac to your heart's content, if you have the time to do so. The church version is called the single license. But it's a bit different. Unlike the seat license, you can install ProPresenter and register as many computers as you like. That's good. You can only use one at a time to present. That's fine. If your youth ministry only meets at a different time than your primary service, you won't have any problem with both using it, unless they left their computer on and running ProPresenter accidentally. So don't read, So only register a small number of computers and make sure that the one that's presenting is running ProPresenter before the others. Before I finish this tutorial, let me take a second to remind you that this tutorial, along with some exclusive ones, and many of the others, are part of my ProPresenter courses, which are included in Church Tech U. If you'd like to get access to all of them and other Church Tech courses and resources for only a dollar for the first month and join a private community of other Church Techies, just go to TDM dot fyi slash ctu tutorial i'm always adding more content and answering new questions so head over and start your first month today at only a dollar the only thing you have to lose is all the wasted time you're spending looking for answers and then training your team with what you eventually learn let me give you that time back join ctu to, uh, today now back to the tutorial that's the good news. The bad news is it's one platform only. So you can't have a Mac for the sanctuary and a Windows machine for the youth ministry. Not with the single license. They all have to be the same. Now, if everything changes at once, there is a cross-grade fee that you can pay which is $99. dollars 
but it's charged every time you move from PC to Mac and back. The better option, if you insist on a cross-platform environment, is the Campus License. Unlike the single license, it's cross-platform, so you can mix and match. It's also designed for concurrent use, so the children's ministry could use it at the same time as the main worship service does. What this is not, and what it won't do, is it won't work for multi-site churches. It's a campus license, not a every campus license. They don't sell those. So, let's review. Seat license. Cross-platform, but one computer at a time. And, you have to unregister one to register another. Single license. Churches only, not cross-platform. Register all the computers you want, but you can only present from one at a time. Campus license. Churches only, cross-platform. Register all the computers you want at a single campus. It's not intended for multi-site churches, though. You need multiple licenses for that. If you like this video and want to see more like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge and want me to help train the people at your church or organization, just go to tdm.fyi slash ctu tutorial. At only a dollar for the first month, it's really worth trying. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from trinitydigitalmedia.com and churchtechu.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.